I will be getting married next year and for that special day, as a Scotsman, I will be buying my very first kilt. Traditionally with kilts, Scots wear a little knife tucked into their sock called a ski and do. Lately it has been increasingly difficult to find a real ski and do. For example, this one, it's made out of plastic. I can understand why, I mean a hundred angry drunk Scotsmen all armed at a party, as, but at my wedding, I'm not going to wear a plastic knife. A life jacket is under your feet. Nice Great meeting yeah, like, you. How you doing? <laughs> Can you help me make a ski and do? A, a what? <laughs> this is Alex Steele, a blacksmith and YouTuber creating some of the most amazing pieces you've ever seen. And I thought he would be the perfect guy to teach me how to blacksmith. I want to make a real ski and do forged by my own hands. So this is day one, hour zero. The first thing that we're gonna do, Mike, yeah. is we are gonna get you working with the basics of blacksmithing. We're gonna make a leaf pendant. Now obviously, it looks nothing like a knife, but blacksmithing is, is all about a lot of techniques that start with the simple stuff. So we're gonna start with this. You're gonna stand here, right foot there, left foot there. So you're essentially kind of making a little bit of a square out of your stance. This. Alec began by teaching me basic hammering technique. It's a heavy hammer. You have to work fast with power and accuracy. My forearm's pretty sore. Take some time to adapt to. Okay. Yeah. Whoa! Ah! Okay, wow. so take it off each time. And let's take another heat, it's already cold. This bit's difficult. I'm terrified of breaking my hand. I think that's good. Or as good as I'm gonna get anyway. I'm not gonna quit my day job, but it's a leaf. All right. Great. Should we make a knife? I think we should make a knife. Let's yeah, make a yeah, knife. Yeah, yeah. After working on the basics, we moved on to learning the fundamentals of knife making. <laughs> I suck at this, man. <laughs> After a while, my hammer technique began to improve. Look at that! You have yes! Your feet from one heat to the next. <laughs> I still miss the odd hit here and there. I feel like I'm sort of getting that, that hammer swing in motion now because it was pretty sh at first, wasn't it? I, I, I never said it, you said <laughs> it. After forging the basic shape, I learned to grind the knife to create an edge. I even taught Alec a thing or two. No! No! Okay, it is day two. Check out my knife. My first knife turned out incredibly sharp. This! <laughs> yeah, give that a go. It was now time to make something more beautiful. I wanted to make the dagger out of Damascus, a blend of two different steels that creates a pattern in the blade. First, we needed to create the billet that the dagger would be forged from. Well, hey, you learned how to take well. <laughs> Next, I learned to use the power hammer. That way, it moves the drag. Oh, yeah. This is way better than the manual hammer. Way better. Hey, just go round and round. Yep. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to put the point on the knife. I used my newly acquired skills to forge a dagger shape. Yesterday, Alec was trying to light his forge, ran out of matches, and he showed me a cool trick. Check this out. Stone cold? Stone cold.
There we go. <laughs> and now we're going to go to the forge. This is absolutely amazing, man. That is how you light a forge with a hand hammer and an anvil. On day three, we began grinding. So we're going to really start removing material from here to create an edge. about seven o'clock. We've been grinding hard since nine o'clock. I am knackered. Look at Alec. He just, this guy's just... What is he? He, he, never, he never stops. Never. <laughs> Look at that. This knife is beautiful. I love it. However, it doesn't have the Damascus style pattern that you said it would have. The Damascus steel is nothing until we put it in the acid. We've got to go into the acid now. <laughs> it's time to etch it. Let's do it. This is the acid here and in it goes. Now we leave the ski and do it in there for about half an hour. And hopefully we'll get a cool pattern come up. Days, look at that! It's like tiger stripes. Right now we're bedding the tang with epoxy so we get a nice tight fit before the final fit up. So if you want to check out how Alec has made the handle and how he's set the blade in the handle, go and check out the video on his channel. Alec, this handle is way too fat. Hey. Alex just given the skin do a quick clean up. I've not had a look at it yet in its final form. I can't wait to see it. Oh ho ho ho! Look at that! It's just absolutely beautiful. That is something special. I will treasure this forever. Thank you so much. <laughs> My pleasure, man. My pleasure. Alec, thank you very much for helping me make... My pleasure, my do. friend. <laughs> I'm really pleased with how it came out. It looks fantastic. So guys, please, please go and check out Alec's channel. Make sure you subscribe. He is making some of the best content on YouTube I've ever seen, and he does it every single day. Yes! Blacksmithing videos every day. Check him out, subscribe to him. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.